SeaWorld in an SEC filing says the company committed to terminating some of its furloughed employees on Friday. The company did not specify how many workers will be affected, but SeaWorld sent us a statement about the layoff saying in part, while we were able to bring back thousands of furloughed ambassadors back to work and hope to bring back everyone, the current environment requires us to set up the company for long-term success. SeaWorld has determined that it must transition certain park and corporate personnel from a furloughed status to a permanent layoff. The news comes right before a forecasted busy Labor Day weekend for Central Florida's tourism industry. The travel site TripIt claims Orlando ranks third in the country as a Labor Day flight destination. Are we turning the corner? And that's the big question. I don't believe so. Dr. Abraham Bazam is the founding dean of UCF's Rosen College of Hospitality Management. He tells us he does not believe a boost from Labor Day visitors will have a long-lasting impact. And if there were enough, they wouldn't lay off all those people or terminate them or furlough them uh, because they believe that the situation is still dire. The SeaWorld job losses come a week after more than a thousand employees of Universal Studios area hotels were furloughed or laid off. Dr. Bazam suggests the tourism industry will not bounce back until a COVID-19 vaccine becomes available. But he hates that. So as soon as this is over, you will see a jump like we've never seen before. <laughs> SeaWorld did furlough 90% of its employees in March. However, since then, they've brought back thousands, and the park is now open. Live in Orlando, Chris Gordaro, West 2 News. Chris